Hi there, and welcome to the Bearded AI Guy. Today we're going to be doing something different, a face-off competition. We're going to face Anthropic Claude, Sonnet, the new model, 3.5, against OpenAI's assistance running GPT-40. We'll run these two models, or these two agents and assistants, if you will, on platforms that I've developed. The first platform will be the GPT Assistance Playground, which I developed to run and use and understand how assistance operates. The next platform we'll do is Nexus. Nexus is an agent platform that's universal and it can be used with multiple different large language models. Both of them are featured in my next book, AI Agents in Action. So we'll run the Anthropic Claude Sonnet 3.5 on Nexus. It uses a similar playground sort of interface. It allows you to choose uh, your agents and then the capabilities of the agent and run it in a chat interface. Likewise, with OpenAI Assistance, we'll be running that in the playground. Again, playground interface, so it allows you to design and choose all your assistants, choose the features of the assistants, and then chat with the model or, or chat with the assistant, if you will. The challenge will be write an Asteroids game using Pygame. That's the prompt we're going to be using. What you see there is a couple screenshots of things I've done already. As you can see, the, these are the two games side by side compared with each other. The Anthropic definitely looks a lot better and functions a lot better, even has sound, which is I found quite interesting. Okay, today we're going to be doing a face-off against OpenAI Assistance, GPT-40, and Anthropic Claude Sonnet. This is the GPT Assistance Playground is what we're looking at right now, and I'm displaying the Python Coding Assistant, you can see here. I have a number of assistants here also set up. This is the Python Coding Assistant. These are the instructions or persona, so this is its essentially persona. I always like to give the any agent or assistant a persona. Next is the instructions or rules, essentially what it's supposed to do. So when you're generating code, make sure you run your Python code to ensure it functions as expected. So essentially doing the coding part for the user and allowing the user just to look at what the output is doing, just like the artifact interface on Anthropic's website right now. And it says we'll work with the user to ask them if they want any changes, and if they do, build on those. So this is our instruction prompt. Now I'll go back into Nexus. Nexus is a more broad-based agent platform designed to work with any engine or set of LLMs, if you will. In this particular case, we have the Anthropic agent engine, which is essentially just the Python API uh, that is the Anthropic. It also supports the Grok, the Grok Labs agent, and OpenAI, and an Azure, I don't have the Azure set up, so it's not shown. Agent settings and so forth. I'm not using any of the advanced things like retrieval, so no memory or knowledge in this example. And it's not using any of the reasoning, evaluation, planners, or anything like that that you can read about in my book, AI Agents in Action. So let's go into the assistance just to get a baseline. So in the assistance and in Nexus, the concept is to use actions or tools. So in here we have a whole bunch of tools an assistant can use and what we're just going to be looking at is these, ac these actions list code files, run Python code, save code, run shell commands. This allows the assistant to install, pip install packages and stuff like that if need be. So we'll just turn this off. The thing we want to just run is a more advanced prompt of write uh, asteroids game using Pi game. This will be a prompt. I'm just going to copy this. So within the playground, uh, we can look at the logs here and see what's going on behind the scenes. So what actions the assistant is running, what the parameters are being passed to those actions, what the outputs of those actions are. So we'll see that a little bit. So here you can see it's generating the code and now it's going to run the code for us. Okay, so we don't have to ask it to run the code, it's just going to run it for us. So you can see there, it's running the code. There's the code, it's the import. Both the assistants and Nexus have a code environment, so it can run code locally. And lo and behold, there's our game running. Not very exciting. I've actually 
gotten much better results. So maybe I'll just try this again. Right, let's see if we can improve on this a bit. Okay, so it's it's actually, I didn't realize, it's going in steps. So it's going to add the asteroids, implementing collision detection, and adding the scoring system. So interesting. You can see here's the code it's generating. We'll just go through that. It's generated all the code, so now it's going to update the code for us. So again, it's running the code, and we'll wait and see here for the little window to come up. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. There we go. Okay. Oh, looks like I got hit. So it's asking if we'd like to add a start screen and game screen and stuff like that. So I'll just say yes. And we'll see where this takes us. So it's adding the bullet and adding some other functionality. So it's it's actually doing quite a bit for us. Displaying final scores. This looks like it's hard coded for some reason, but we'll see. I'm zoomed in quite a bit, so that's why the interface looks a little funny. Okay, so let's run this updated code. So again, it's running all the code in a local environment, which allows us to install packages and so forth. Let's take a look. Okay, so it was adding some sound effects and for whatever reason, well, the reason is that the sound effects aren't there, or the sound files aren't there. So it's going to take those away and run through it. I guess I should be reading what it's actually telling me it's doing. So again, this is just the same sort of iteration of going through and, and running these things and building on these things without the sound effects. Okay, let's see what this does and what it looks like. I can shoot. Oh, and I flew and ran into something. Okay, well, that's good. So now we'll go into Nexus. And Nexus, in this particular case, we're using the Anthropic game engine. This engine has been set up to run tools. So again, it's going to be using some of those same tools. So run Python code, shell commands, install packages. Um, there's not as many actions, or I haven't added as many actions to Nexus yet, but I probably will in the future. So let's try this out. Oh, one thing I have to do here, in assistance, there's always a thread behind the scenes. In this particular case, I just have to add a thread. So write a write an asteroids game using pi game. Write an asteroids game using pi game. Okay, same sort of thing. The logs will show us what's going on behind the scenes. So um, it knows it needs to run pi game. And there's our okay, but it was. A touch bit better results. So we could go through and iterate on this. So let's go through and implement some of these features that it's suggesting. You notice in the assistance it was a little more forward and generally followed the prompt a little better. That That's just a little bit of a structure between the different LLMs and design, actually getting the prompt, the instruction prompt better for the LLM you're working with. So a particular LLM might take a little bit more finessing if you will or slightly different language. Okay, so it looks like it ran something, but then it crashed. So it crashed, let's see what it says. I was actually getting better results in, before I was doing this recorded with Anthropic, which I was sort of expecting. But it looks like the assistance was doing really well. Okay, so here we got a score. And this is actually added sound. <laughs> Holy cow, it's like a full game. And it stops and closes and whatever. Holy cow. So yes, Anthropic did very much very well. Let me go in and check out. I noticed that the assistants generated another version, so let's just run th through this and see what it looks like. So I still can't well oh, at least it doesn't die right away. But when I push the thrust, it doesn't it doesn't use any physics or anything. It's just static, which I mean, and the score is I'm not sure why the score is continually increasing. Okay, but very interesting. I would say Anthropic won, but the assistance did do a lot better than I expected. Great face off. Thanks everybody for watching. things quite well but it was showing the code and was going through the steps and it was just a little slower going through, through the process. I did try and extend this evaluation on the Claude Anthropic model but it did, wasn't giving me as much progress as I, as I was seeing with the OpenIS API.
I wasn't seeing as much progress with the OpenAI assistance model. This is something, again, uh, probably my experience using, using these models. I have a lot more experience with GPT-4, 4.0, ChatGPT, and so forth, and really don't have a lot of experience with Claude. As I get more experience, I'm, I'm sure I'll get, get better, much better results, and I'll be able to develop the pers agent persona or the instructions of the prompt better. Okay, and again, thanks for watching.